Did you know that there are certain habits of thought and of feeling that pull us to a certain level as entrepreneurs? And within those habits of thought and of feel of our feelings, there are also characteristics that prevent us from getting to the next level of our success. Now, where this process um, can be a real uh, danger to a lot of people is when we're new entrepreneurs and we're just getting started and we're not in a place of sustainable profitability yet. Because as you can imagine, if we're stuck in a stage of business that isn't profitable, we have to ask ourselves, how, fa how far down can we go down that path without either making some real changes or experiencing some very real and um, real challenges? Hi, my name is Nathaniel Moore, by the way, and in this video, what I'm going to share with you are the key internal characteristics or the key internal habits of both thought and feeling that ignite and you know inspire us to first step out on this entrepreneurial journey. Then what I'm going to share with you are the characteristics within those habits of thought and of, uh, of feelings that prevent most entrepreneurs from ever really establishing a sustainable business. Then after that, what I'm going to do is show you how to do something and shift something really simple um, in a way that you can know from here on out that you're going to reach a progressive growth and move forward. Now, so where does it all start? Where does it all begin, you know? Um, how is an entrepreneur born? Well, um, traditionally what it starts with is the desire to change. Now, it either, either comes from a, a, a discontent, um, a constructive discontent to want to make something better or a pure inspiration to want just to, to make some kind of change. But either way, it's from the human motive of wanting to change something. And then those of us that are courageous enough to take some kind of action and, and towards that change and then decide to use business as our tool to create that change, the, those of us who, who make that commitment step out on the path of the entrepreneur. Now before we go any further um, and talk about, uh, before we go any further, it's important that we are clear on what it means, uh, what I mean by business, uh, using business as a tool. First of all, what a business really is, it's not a thing like this, like this iPad. Uh, business is really a process. It's a process where we take a product or a service and we exchange the value, uh, we build a process that exchanges the value of that product or service for the monetary equivalent of that value. Now, knowing, knowing that, when we're just getting started as entrepreneurs, we're motivated to make some kind of change, we decide to use business as, our, as that tool for that change, and then we reach out and we start to build the process to exchange that value, something inevitable has to happen. Well, what happens is we, we experience a level of resistance because there's a learning curve. Because it does not matter what books you read or how many courses you take, at the end of the day there's a certain type of um, experiential knowledge as well as skill that you only develop by rolling up your sleeves and getting in the process. So let's say you start to develop that process which is really you building a business and in that process you experience maybe the feelings of discontent because it's not growing as quickly as you want or maybe you're not getting the results like you were hoping or maybe it's a little bit harder work than you expected. When you get to that place of friction, there's going to be that that initial stimulus response um, process we just talked about that that puts you on this path in the first place. It's going to ignite again. It's going to trigger again that part of you that you know wants to change something and make it better, and then take some actions to make it better. This is great. This process of of, of, of wanting to fix something and change it and make it better is what makes us unique as entrepreneurs, and that's and that's that's awesome. Um, where it can be, where it becomes a challenge, um, where this thought process becomes a challenge, is when we don't have enough experience as entrepreneurs. And what we, what many of the times we end up doing when we lack experience as entrepreneurs, is we take the actual business process, and we change that by deciding that we're going to engage in another business process. So an example of that might be we're, we're engaged in some kind of mechanism to bring in business and if it's not working as quickly as we like, we just put that one aside and then try something different or we chase the next shiny object or the next big promise of ways that we can bring in business. Now, sometimes, you know, our business, our actual business strategy um, needs to be replaced. Sometimes our business itself or our, the industry that we're in or the niche that we're in needs to be replaced. But over 90% of the time, it has nothing to do with any of those things. It's really the fact that we need to look in the mirror and figure out how we can become smarter, more efficient, or more effective at the given process in which we've already committed to. I mean, think about it for a minute. If you were a farmer 
and you wanted to, and you decided there was a certain kind of crop that you wanted to grow, you would then go and find a seed, uh, find the the seed that you wanted, go find a, a, a plot of land, um, prepare the prepare the uh, the soil, plant the seed, and then start to water it. Right. Well, if you were to follow through up until that point, and then right before the seed was to start to you know break ground and start to grow, you decided that. You know, you heard, you heard, you decided that maybe it's not happening fast enough, or you heard someone else, someone else say, you know, there's this other seed or this other soil that works better, so you just neglected that crop and went to start another one, and then did that over and over again. You can imagine, how, you know, it wouldn't take much time before you expended all your resources and didn't have a tangible result to reinvest into those resources, which can be a real problem, right? So. So what do I want to, I want to encourage you is not do that with your business as well. So what does that mean? How do we, what, what's the R, what's, what do we do when we get that inspiration to change something? Because we're going we're gonna to always have that. We're entrepreneurs. We want to make, fix things and make it better, right? We want to get a result. Uh, and quick, and yesterday. Um, so what, what do we do? We, we go ahead and, and when we f experience that feeling of, of inspiration to change something or frustration and that either one of those um, two motives moves us in a direction, we need to first make sure that we look in the mirror and see where we can develop from the inside out first and maintain congruence or maintain a commitment to the process we've already, com we've already decided to, st to start. Then what we need to do is make sure that we're making business decisions quickly but changing them slowly. Change, but by making business decisions quickly, it keeps us agile in the marketplace, which is absolutely necessary in today's market. And when we change them slowly, when, what, what it does is it forces us to commit to a business process until we have, get to experience our harvest. Now, as long as you can generate a dollar or more from a given marketing strategy or a given business building strategy, we have some feedback. If we don't get to the place where we generate some kind of real feedback, we can't really make any type of education, educational guesses around what we should be doing to build our business. So remember, also remember that our businesses only grow as quickly as we do. So if our primary focus is, is, is on ourselves, but then we stay commitment to one single process, it allows us to master something and really leverage it to its full potential. So if you're just getting started or you've been you know, try, try, trying to build a business for a while but haven't really experienced the results that you want, I want to encourage you to stay committed to the process that you're actively engaged in right now. And um, if you know somebody that is not getting necessarily the results that they'd like, I'd also like you, I would also recommend that you share this video with them so that way they can review it every once in a while and remind themselves to stay committed to the process that they're actively engaged in instead of trying another one and then another one and then another one and never really experiencing the results that they want. Also, um, I would love to see what business building processes that you're committed to right right now um, between where you are right now to get you from where you are right now to your next level of success so if you wouldn't mind leaving those in the comments below this video that would mean the world to me and other than that you have a really great day and we'll talk to you soon